Parenthood, it comes with many demands, but specifically for moms, nutrition is typically ranked rather high in the order of responsibilities. From as early as birth, many mothers experience that first latch that's associated with breastfeeding, but not all moms are given that opportunity. Our Faith Culver is here now in studio to share what roadblocks some mothers do face. Faith? Good evening, Leslie and Rudy. While some mothers simply choose not to breastfeed, there's another batch of moms who cannot even, even if they wanted to. I spoke with two local experts about what medical condition hinders breastfeeding and how much more common it is than others may know. The first week of August is recognized as World Breastfeeding Week by the World Health Organization. And this year's theme raises awareness for the lack of support in the job force, families, and even in the medical world. The topic for this year is Closing the Gap, Breastfeeding Support for All. We are joining the World Alliance for Breastfeeding Action in this celebration and joining 120 countries that are celebrating this event around the globe. For those mothers who may have all of the positive support, roadblocks like tongue ties may still come their way. It's not always a tongue tie. It's not always a supply issue. It's not always any one or two particular things. We have to look at the whole picture and then be able to get them connected with the right people so that we can get on the road to successful breastfeeding. According to many sources like the Mayo Clinic, up to 10% of infants are born with tongue tie. More moms are breastfeeding. We're just now better able to identify the ties and diagnose and treat them because we understand more how it affects breastfeeding. While tongue tie surgery has rapidly increased over the past few years and continues to soar, many professionals say that there are ways to still have a successful breastfeeding journey even without surgery. As the education about breastfeeding continues, so does the resources for jobs and businesses to continue providing nursing rooms just like this one. And if you're looking for more information on breastfeeding and oral ties, you can find links with more information linked to this story at KIIII.com.